Hey guys, it's Rick. Welcome back to the HD Vibe channel. If you'd like to see more tips, tricks, riders reviews, installs on my Harley Davidson Touring Motorcycles, as well as information about motorcycles and the motorcycle community at large, I ask that you please hit that subscribe button. And when you do subscribe, please leave a comment down below saying I subscribe so I can personally reach out and thank you for supporting the channel. Also, don't forget to hit that bell icon and select all so that you get notified every time I do put out new content. So today I am out here um, and it's a beautiful day here in St. Charles County. I am in Klondike Park. And what I want to do today is give you my 1,000 mile review of the Saddleman Road Sofa LS seat. And we'll get into it right after this. So guys, it's a beautiful day. Um, I decided to actually put this together and, and talk about the Saddleman Road Sofa LS seat outdoors. Uh, I am in Klondike Park, which is a pretty historic park here in St. Charles County. And uh, I'll put a little bit of history about it down in the comments section. So today what I want to do is tell you a little bit about the features of the Road Sofa LS. Secondly, I want to tell you my experience from a comfort perspective and really talk about that relative to the stock seats on the Harley Davidsons. And then thirdly, give you my recommendation as to would I recommend you buying this Road Sofa LS. So let's first get started with the features. So this seat again is the Road Sofa LS, which means lattice stitch. So it does have the diamond stitching in through the seat um, for the driver as well as for the, the passenger pillion. Um, it is relatively narrow in through the tank here and close to the frame. So I like that because I can get my legs in closer and this really works well for slow speed skills. And those of you who may be a little bit vertically challenged, this is gonna get your feet closer to the ground so that you don't have any challenges in terms of balancing that bike when you do come to a stop. The other feature I like is this portion of the seat and the lumbar support are separated. And I will tell you, when I first got on this seat, it was an interesting um, feel to that seat, but I really like it because this lumbar is relatively high um, and this is separated, which relieves that pressure. If you have any tailbone issues, I really would say this is the way to go. So this does widen out um, as you get to uh, the seating area, the back of the seating area, close to this lumbar. From a passenger pillion perspective, this is contoured in here so that your, your passenger is not having their legs sort of spread out and get that uncomfortable feeling in the hips as well. Both for the passenger as well as the rider, this seat does have the gel core technology. And I will tell you, I have become a firm believer in this gel core technology. It reduces vibration from the bike and it also helps in terms of when you're hitting those bumps out on the road you know, if you have the stock Harley-Davidson suspension, and you've probably seen some of my other videos where I talk about the stock Harley-Davidson suspension on my Road King Special, not the greatest, but this gel core technology, I think, is a game changer. Um, again, I've got the, uh, the S Saddleman logo. They custom embroidered this in a silver for me to match the silver of the bike. Um, the diamond stitching you can select. Um, different colors for the stitching. It is a perforated leather um, throughout the seat and it does come with a seat cover so that this doesn't get wet if you park it out somewhere overnight or you get stuck somewhere in the rain and you can't get the bike under cover. You can cover this so you don't get this leather ruined. Um, so let's talk about the comfort on this seat. Um, like I said, this gel cork technology, in my opinion, is a game changer. Um, again, it's all through the, the driver's portion of the seat as well as in the passenger pillion. Um, it does reduce that vibration, and I will say it really gives you a comfortable ride. The seat is firm. Um, I don't know that you necessarily need a 500 or 1,000 mile braking period, but again, if you look at my earlier video when I first revealed this seat, as well as the Saddleman San Diego custom seat in another video um, with a thousand mile review, um, they are firmer. Um, some people don't like that, but again, I think about it like this. If I sleep on a fluffy pillow top mattress, that mattress 
I wake up and I have aches and pains all over the place. But if I sleep on a gel foam mattress, for me anyway, I don't have the aches and pains. I wake up refreshed and I think it's really the same concept on this seat. That gel core technology really supports you and you're not falling in or that foam is not falling in on you and not causing stress to your back or to your tailbone. And speaking of the tailbone, as you may know, I do have some tailbone issues and I will tell you when I've gone to these gel core Saddleman seats, I don't have tailbone issues anymore. I can ride these bikes longer. I'm more comfortable. Um, and overall, it just gives me a great, great experience. Um, and again, this separation between the lumbar portion and the, pass and the driver's seat here, that separation um, also reduces that pressure on your tailbone. So I literally do not feel any pressure on my tailbone. So having said all of that, would I recommend someone buy this seat? This is an investment. Um, my particular one, Saddleman Seats, was kind enough to send this to me um, to review for you and show the viewers what the seat is all about. I purchased my San Diego Customs with my own money, and I will tell you I am sold on Saddleman Seats and that gel core technology. This seat is very comfortable. Um, I could go long, many, many hours and many miles on this seat and feel very comfortable uh, throughout the day and don't get that fatigue. So overall, I would say I give this seat a thumbs up and I would certainly recommend it. It is, again, it is a relatively speaking, uh, all the seats, aftermarket seats are pretty expensive. Um, this one was a little more expensive because I did get the heated, um, the heated option on this. Um, you can get an option to have a backrest on this as well. And if there's no additional hardware that you have to put on that, so that's an additional option. You can um, customize the stitching and the colors. There's different options. So your best bet is if you want to really look into the seat, go to Saddleman's website and look at all the different options, the stitching, and you can even get some custom work done. So with that, uh, I'm going to say thumbs up on this seat. I really like it. I really like these Saddleman seats. So it's a beautiful day um, and I need to get out and do some riding today. So with that, I'm going to wrap it up here and leave you with this. Life is short. Get out and ride the bike. Thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye now.